Whoa! Uh, I want a magnet in your Yeah! Your thermostat. That's that. Hello, my viewers. You can thank Baker Distributing for this video because they were generous enough to let me borrow a heat strip kit to show you how to diagnose any problems with them. What I have here is a 15 kW heat strip kit. Let me just show you some of the bits, pieces, and parts of this particular heat kit. These two, these are the two prongs that actually slide inside the holes that are in the air conditioning cabinet. Back in here, there's a hole where this rod is inserted. We'll put this in. It doesn't take a rocket scientist or brain surgeon to do this. These are the heat strip coils right here. The things that look like, like springs. These are actually the heating coils. It's similar to what you'll find like in a, a toaster oven or something like that. If you look at the side of this heat kit, you see that there are three separate heating elements. Each of these elements are rated at 5 kW. So that's 5 kW here, 5 kW here, and 5 kW here. So that's 5 times 3 is 15. So when all three of these elements are burning, you have 15 kW of heat. But normally you won't have all three calling at the same time. It just depends upon the demand of heat at the time. Now let me show you here some things on the front. Now we have the two contactors that bring in on our heat. This is a two pole contactor which brings on two of the heat strips. This is a single pole contactor that brings on the second stage of heat which is just the one strip that I've shown you already. First let's look at this first stage of heat. This contactor energizes okay, calling for two heat strips to come on. But this sequencer holds out one of the strips and brings it on at a separate time. Now over here we have another contactor that is for this third strip of heat and it will energize as soon as this contactor makes. But what we have here though is a limit switch. Its job is to be sure that the heat from the heat strips don't get to be too warm. It cuts in and out according to the temperature of inside of the cabinet. For example if your blower motor were to fail it would keep your heat strips from energizing. One thing that I found really strange about this particular heat kit is the fact that it doesn't have fusible links which would normally be here okay and or and here or down here say so if you note down, even down here there are no fusible links this particular heat kit depends upon this limit switch maybe a little too much I think for my liking but I wasn't the engineer that came up with this. Now to do a little troubleshooting with this heat kit. First of all, before you even bother to troubleshoot the, any resistance between anything in a uh, heat kit, always turn off the power. But also, for example, if you want to see if there may be a problem, say, with this limit switch, you want to pull these wires off. Otherwise, what you could be getting when you measure for resistance across each side, okay, is what you could be getting is just back feed from some of the other components. 
Now that I've disconnected the wires from each side of this limit switch, I can test to see if I have resistance across this. And I do. So this limit switch is closed right now in this case and apparently it probably is working good. Now to be sure that your heat strips are in good shape and are not open someplace like if they are broken up what you could do here is disconnect this from that terminal okay that goes directly to this side of one of the heat strips and then here at the bottom you can disconnect that wire right there and that way you can ohm your heat strip from one side to the other and now we can ohm from one side of the heat strip to the other and as you can see here we have 0 0.013 and that's about right for a 5kW heat strip rated at 230 volts.